are we are we live? We are recording, yeah. Excellent. Well, uh, so Chad, what episode is this? It's episode number one hundred and fifty one. Last show of twenty twenty one. Yeah. Can't fucking wait to see the end of this year, huh? <laughs> Which oddly we said about the last year too. And the one before that. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. A little uh, bit of a shit show out there. So, yeah, right? I'll say. Yeah. I'll say. So uh, no, re- re- refresh my memory. Did we did we talk about the 60,000 plus raised at the toy drive? We did. Okay. We did, yeah. Has that number changed? Yeah, Since I'm then? sure it's still going up. Uh, okay. But yeah, just just st- still so excited about that. Uh, yeah. And then some of the people that we were supposed to speak with even today and yesterday have it, everybody's schedules are all, all up in the air as we are approaching the the, 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 the most wonderful time of the year, the end. <laughs> um, so so yeah, so we'd, 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 we'd hoped to do the naughty list this week. Um, and again, I've been all screwed up. My, my I thought that young uh, or little baby Eric C. Hughes was going to be here, and I had my things backwards. He's now in Austin visiting his folks. Uh, um, so hopefully, he and Jennifer are having a wonderful time with their with with their family. Um, so uh, we 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 will not we will not <laughs> we will not do an episode without his, his the addition of his venom. Um, for the rant, Cause, yeah, yeah, because we need to, we need to, we need to do that late at night. And we need to have the, uh, we need to be ca- fully caffeinated and fully uh, prepped because that's that's going to be a, that's going to be a hellacious, <laughs> yes. uh, yeah. So, yeah. so, 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 Ch- Chad, are you all ready for the season? Are you all ready for the Christmas season? I am. I have a little bit of. It, it's sort of a smally tradition to do some last minute Christmas shopping, so. I'm going to see what I can get done tonight, which is not going to be much, and probably well, tomorrow as well. I love the way you blame that in the flat for the family tree. <laughs> yeah, it's a small tradition that I don't get out of bed until nine o'clock at night. <laughs> I run madly to this. Yeah, I only know that because I saw, I, uh, we were lamenting on the, the, the closure of Foley's and Macy's downtown Houston because we used to run into each other and go, hey, I know that fucker. He's good. You know, Chad's over there shoplifting and, <laughs> flirting with, the, flirting with the, the the ladies in the fragrance department, and, and I'm just racing around. But yeah, it's, it, it's I like the way that you blame all them for your for your. Well, I, know, yeah, I only uh, said it. I just said because my my dad was very fond of doing that too. <laughs> he yeah, would always I have wait, too. he would always wait till Christmas Eve to do anything. I have too. But yeah. but I, I think part of the reason, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but part of the reason was I enjoyed going downtown so much because he enjoyed going downtown so much. What are you What are you trying to say? Yeah. So. Uh, he, uh, downtown. Downtown. He uh, the 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 parking was tremendous. The you had the whole shop to yourself. People just did. It was like they didn't know about it. Hence the, the closure. Mm-hmm. But we had a. Uh, I mean, it just, just had the whole place to ourselves. Every single floor, you couldn't see anybody, and you had you just. And then it, it you know the those places they just had everything. They had this electronic department. They had the. The mm-hmm. kitchen, the bedroom, everything. So, yeah, yeah. I miss that. I miss that. Yeah, that, that 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 was that. We were talking about that recently. The uh, what was the original Foley's location, which it turned into a Macy's? Is that correct? So I, I don't which know. Which is torn down now, I think. I yeah. I, yeah, I thought Foley's was the last of it, but I could yeah. be wrong. No, I think you're right. I think that's. But I remember that that there was that one year where you called me. Like in, it was either Christmas Eve or the day before Christmas Eve. You call us, hey, we're going going downtown. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, and I got I got a lot done that that uh that partic- that one particular night. Yeah, at that one store. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I miss that place. I, they only, unfortunately, I may find myself going to the Galleria tomorrow. What? I, I, I don't want to go, but there's there's no there's no other place like the Apple Store. I wanted to get something at the Apple Store. I, I guess this isn't coming out until after Christmas, so it's not a secret. <laughs> there you but, go. Uh, but I wanted to get some of the Apple store for, for a, a loved one. But the, the Highland Village store is closed until freaking Sunday. But I think the gallery of that location is open. I don't know why they did that. But. Are you uh, are you are you celebrating with your mother? Is that yeah. Cool? Yeah, I'll be seeing her on Christmas. Somebody in the family got COVID. <laughs> I can Uh-oh. say that. Uh-oh. Uh, so it's going to go around. We, we found out recently one of our friends got, got it as well. So... Not nothing. Everybody's fine. It's not uh, no serious cases from from what I'm aware of. But everybody's trying to be careful. Yeah, 
Looney boy, Looney. We black ones are fully vaccinated and boosted, by the way, in case you're in case you're concerned. Ooh. Sounds fancy. Yeah, boosted. Mm-hmm. Wow. How many pots is that you're on now? I, I don't I don't count anymore. <laughs> I just I, I just wait till the till the coffee machine screams, Oh cool. <laughs> yeah. God, this coffee this coffee is so good. I bought a new machine recently and, and it's just been it's been a Did you? every day every day's a party. <laughs> is it every, is it one one of the uh the the mesh metal mesh filter to thing or is it yeah paper yeah uh, it, it it has every option to do every style of you can make iced coffee in this thing but i do the one i do the one gear top oh. gear yeah what's it iced coffee is were you exaggerating or is that is that like a different thing is that is there a different process for that oh for iced yeah, yeah iced coffee i know, takes- the, I know you brew it stronger but but, yeah, but, and, and 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 you can't you can't just go in and make a pot of iced coffee. It, 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 this is a 12, 15 hour ordeal. Oh, yeah, it's a it's okay. a it's a cold brew. You know, there are many ways to do it, but yeah, the the this this machine has the. Uh, I looked at it just just to make sure it wasn't crying. Uh, th- this machine has the capabilities to make it, and I have no interest in iced coffee. You know, the hottest the hottest day of the year, I'll drink hot you know hot black coffee and the. Mm-hmm. The barista will usually say, "Are you okay?" And I go, "No, but make it." Yeah, yeah. There, there was one time I went to Starbucks uh, back when the can, my can local. You bleep, can, can you bleep that fucking? Yeah, word? yeah. I'll, I'll take right. it out later. Yeah. Thank you. The, uh, <laughs> my local, yeah. <laughs> my la- my local. Last time I was there, they don't have indoor seating anymore. They've remodeled it for the umpteenth time, and so you can't actually hang out in there anymore. But uh, one of the guys who knows me there. There's one time I come in, they always knew I wanted the strongest, you know, I would get this back when I was getting the two shots of espresso in, in, a, in a tall coffee or venti, the venti, I mean, the biggest yeah. one. And uh, one day they were out, uh, they, were, they didn't have any coffee brewed, and it's, but did he did have the a fresh, they just finished brewing uh, a batch of what was going to be iced coffee. He said, you want to try this? Actually, you know, he gave, I think he gave it to me by accident. I was like, man, this is awesome. <laughs> it tasted really good because they blew it. They brew it like doubly strong because they want to account for the, it getting diluted with ice and stuff. And uh, he came up. I said, oh, I accidentally gave you the iced coffee. Is that, is that okay? It's like, this is awesome. <laughs> so I think he deliberately did that a couple more times, but they don't normally, I don't even think they're allowed to serve it hot, but they, because they're often, you have to, have to be lucky to catch them when they brew it. But, but yeah, I, I don't know how much stronger it is. But for like, for you and me, like what we prefer, it was like pretty much perfect. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's exactly how it's supposed <laughs> yeah. to be. Yes, I'm going so, to that. And I guess it's a special brew too. The, there's a particular yeah. brew of coffee they use for it, or a particular roast, I should say. Uh, so have you uh, have, have you have you started on your New Year's resolution? I know that's a big deal with you. I don't. Know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so important to me. I'm I'm still trying to lose weight, and I just recently. Uh, kind of started behaving myself again, <laughs> but I will say it's, it's for me. I think it. Uh, I'm I'm declaring victory on the fact that I have not gained any weight the past six months. So the, the, that same span of time in 2020, I gained you know nearly 20 pounds of the 30 pounds I'd lost in 2019. So the fact that I at least managed to kind of hold it down or co- hold it in the road, as Davey might sing, our friend Davey Bryant. <laughs> Davey, under the covers, man. That, that yes, thing? that's right. Yeah, yeah. This is the the, the weekly uh, under the covers uh, pitch or plug. Yes. Anyway, but yeah, I, I'm I'm uh, actively trying to lose weight again now, and I'm uh, kind of finally starting to feel like I might be able to pull it off. But I'm in no hurry, thankfully, because <laughs> this yeah. is taking a long time. So that would be my only New Year's resolution is to sort of pick up where I left off with that before the pandemic. Yeah. So. I mean, I did lose this earlier this year because I gained like almost 20 pounds in 2020. And then I lost earlier this year, I lost about 13 of that. So I still have about six, six or five more pounds to go before I get, get caught up to where I was before the pandemic. And then I still have about 20 more pounds. I want to lose after that. What about you? Yes. I'm just, um, I'm just going to continue on writing the next record of, uh, good, good, good. I've been, uh, I, I, I wish I could show you, I wish I could, I have, I'm sitting among a lot of gear right now. I've, I've uh, I spent the last couple of days reorganizing this, all this, all my gear. I say all my gear, uh, the recording equipment. So I've uh, 
I've, uh, I, I went to Rock and Robin right beside Cactus Records here in mm-hmm. sunny old Houston, Texas. And I went, as we I, talked about last week. Yeah, I bought a keyboard and uh, just, I've been, I, I don't play. However, it's been so much fun because I have now the, I've now, the soundboard that we use, I'm, I've got everything going through our soundboard and I can essentially play over CDs, records, tapes, anything yeah. that anything you know but i can also so it's it's been a bit of a learning process but i'm the the reason why i bought the keyboard is because i have just i i can run uh phrases and stuff that i write and i can you know play along with it and kind of phrase train my you know get my get my uh, guitar you know sound the way i want it to sound but also work out these these uh melodies and whatnot so uh, so yeah yeah it's going to be there's gonna be a lot of time spent in here making a lot of noise and uh, I'm just, I'm looking forward to, really looking forward to getting getting that. I've been up way, way, way too late, staying up way too late. And the nice thing about here is you can, you know, you can be as loud as you want. And also mm-hmm. if it, you know, if it gets too late in the night, you can, you know, put everything through headphones. So it's just, yeah. there's nothing. It's just, the, the, and the technology is just, just so far. I mean, it's just, you know, it, it, it's just so far away from anything I could have ever dreamed of. Because as a kid, you, you want nothing but a wall of Marshall amps behind you. And, you know, and now you can have that in a box that comes mm-hmm. this size. And I kid you not, I'm going to show you a little piece of gear here. This is a, every sound that I ever dreamt of as a kid is in this little box right here. Every sound. Oh. Yeah. And it's That's just. That's Yeah. Yeah, but this is a, it's a, actually a, this is an experimental uh, piece of gear. Um, it, it, that's what I would take to Ireland now. Yeah, uh, that's not this is it, this is you know the the nice thing about what we do is uh, I can get away with very very little. You know, I don't need a hundred guitar patches. I need a heavy and a soft tone. That's mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this machine has every single thing in there and beyond mm-hmm. what I could have could have ever you know imagined. As some of you know, both Patrick and I are going direct. Uh, we have been doing that for a couple of years now, and I it means no no amplifiers on stage, kids. N- None. Yeah, we're we're plugging in directly into uh, pedals, which have what they call amp modeling technology in them, to make them make the direct signal that comes out of it, which goes straight into the soundboard and then into our in ear monitors, which is the other kind of essential ingredient when we're playing live with these, this particular kind of gear. Um, Sound, it sounds just like it's coming out of an amplifier, and it's it's pretty amazing. Well, back, I've been, back in the day, yeah. back in, when I first held what they called the 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 Rockman, it was back when I moved to Boston. It was about a, about as big as a cell phone, maybe mm-hmm. a little bit bigger. But um, it was, uh, I guess, the guy from Boston, the the band had written uh, a program and put the you know built this machine to make it sound like you know that 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 uh, Boston sound, that, that guitar sound that he had on all those records. Schultz, I think his name was. Um, so that was the first time I'd ever heard that, a, a sound that good, well, dated now, but that, that good at the time from such a little machine. And then, it, you know, then the next thing I heard was the line six or the pod, you know, which is, sorry, this is all, this is all absolutely boring for anybody that doesn't play, but it was just, <laughs> these machines would come along and they, these, these sounds would come out of them and they, they sound great in your ear, but once you put them through the PA is where that, where the sound falls apart. So essentially what people are hearing in the audience, like a purist would not, like we, we had the, we had the great pleasure of playing with the mighty orc last, uh, yeah. Sunday the toy drive. Drive. Mm-hmm. And, uh, he is, what you call a purist. Not only is he just incredibly talented guitar playing and singing and writing and says, Hey, I hate him. Uh, but he's also, he's also an amazing photographer. We have some great new promo shots that we're using that, uh, that, that he took. Uh, that, um, he's just a, a, an incredible artist all the way around, but somebody like the mighty orc would not use a modeling amplifier because his stuff, he's playing Delta blues. He's playing, uh, you know, he's playing, cigar box guitars he's playing you know these just the, 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 these you know not even for show just the stuff that he plays you know when you play like he plays you need that sound and he has a rig that's just you know it, it really is it's a 
you know, it's, it, 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 it's, it's what I call a day tripper. It means you, you're just all day, all night, bringing the shit in, bringing the shit out. It's just, it's, mm-hmm. you know, you, you, so, uh, and, 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 and he, he needs and uses every single sound that those guitars make and it's, and he does wonderful with them. I, on the other hand, just need to be loud and that's it. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So, so, you know, playing these, playing these, these, these machines that we're, that Chad and I are now using is such a departure from getting onto the stage, turning these amplifiers up as loud as you can. You got to get them over the drummer. You got to get them over the, the, you know, then, then the sound guy is going to say, Hey, you know, can you turn that down? I can't hear the, you know, cause the sound guy can only, you only have so much power to lift the band over, you know, when you got, when you got a, a guitar player that plays through, you know, three or four Marshall stacks and turns all of them on and decides to, to just drown the whole room out. The sound guy's hands are tied. You can't do anything with it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. You know, so, so we had the, 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 the always incredible, um, Luba before I pl- uh, running sound for us. And, and he, you know, he, he just loves mixing us because it, there's no, there's just, he, he doesn't have to fight anything. Mm-hmm. And he starts, at the top and he mixes down whereas mm-hmm. everybody kind of starts with nothing. And so, yeah. Yeah. yeah it was, it was, it was an absolute breeze as it always is with him. Um, but people were telling me that the sound, it sounded great out there. And then I, I heard it sort of myself cause I had, I recorded the show as I mentioned last week. Uh, so I was listening to that as I was preparing to post it online. Yeah, it really did sound great. <laughs> and, uh, I'm always very, very happy to hear how my bass sounds through this, the new gear that I've been using the past yeah. uh, past month or so, uh, which fortunately is working for a while. I was having some trouble with it. I, th- I still don't know what that problem was. Did you uh, change the cables out? Yeah, I tried, I tried a couple different things for, for, for most of that, that Florida trip that we went on, I just didn't use the effects loop. Cause I, I, I just, I was theorizing that's probably where the problem was. Cause it did sound when the, when the recordings that we got when it was having trouble, it definitely sounded like a weak signal, like a release yeah. connection or something. Yeah. So I said, like, Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's the effects loop. So, cause I had two pedals in the effects loop, my, my phase 90 and the pitchfork that you gave me. And, uh, but those came when I bought the, uh, when I bought the fly rig, cause I'm using a tech 21 fly rig, which is uh, the amp modeling I was just describing earlier that came bundled free uh, with three free MXR patch cables. And maybe one of those is messed up. So, so for, for a couple of weeks, I wasn't using those, uh, anything in the effects. And then the last show, I think on Sunday, I just, I think it was just Sunday. I put the, I put my phase 90 back into the effects loop with different patch cables, not using those MXRs getting really, <laughs> this is going to be extremely boring for anybody who's not a gearhead. Yeah, that, and and that and that it seemed to be fine. Of course, it was a really short show too, so I don't know. It, yeah, but well, I, um, yeah, it's, I, I, yeah. Anyway, but anyway, yeah, yes. it works great, and I'm happy about that. So, so yeah, we've got a uh, we, we you know we're we're and and if you're ever bored, if you're ever bored, if you're at work and you're you know you're listening to Slappercast and you're just bored out of your gourd, I would uh, go on YouTube and look up the Fractal AX8. Uh, and or the fly rig, the 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 base fly rig that 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 Chad using. Yeah, it's a Tech Twenty One sounds amp uh, fly rig. Uh, V two is the one I have. V2. Oh yes, there's, yes. there's two different versions. It's pretty still kind of new. The yeah. V one only came out like maybe five years ago, so it's yeah. But but just new. go on there and just look at the demos and put the headphones on and listen to the listen to how they you know how they run through that rig and just listen to the different sounds that you're getting. But now know this. Uh, that when you, like I said earlier, the early pods and these these uh, these Line Six model amplifiers, they would have all these sounds in the amp, which means you're getting a regurgitated uh, uh, computer signal. You're getting a, a computer signal that's just you know. So when it comes out, it's very 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 brittle sounding. It's very thin. It's it's not very it's not very convincing. Mm-hmm. It's and, and in front of the amp. It, it sounds okay, but once it goes through the the, the, the microphone or, and, and or the PA, it seems to decay, as they say, or, or you just, you know, become very transparent, very, very, very uh, difficult to listen to. So if you, uh, if you Google that stuff and look at the, the, it's just even, even a non-player, you will understand why this is the best thing that's ever happened to guitar players. And again, the purist will never, 
they'll, they'll never they'll they'll never set foot in this realm. They'll never they'll never approach it. They'll never toy with it. They won't even entertain the thought of using it. And I understand that. However, um, you know, if, if, if you're dragging your, you know, you're dragging two or three half stacks around or whatever you're dragging around, that stuff gets real, real, real heavy on your back. And when you go into these clubs in New York city and you can't turn it up to, because the other thing with a, with a tube amplifier is you have to turn it up to a certain level to get any kind of sound. You know, think of it like a race car. Yeah. You, you know, you, you don't you don't buy a race car for you know for cruising. Yeah, you, you know, you got to put the foot down to. That's why it's a race yeah. car. They're, so also, anyway. they're also very unpredictable, as we know from experience. <laughs> you know, the uh, my my Ampeg SVT, which I still have, which is an all tube head base amp. Um, the first year or so, I had that. It was beautiful. I had no issues with it. You know, you have heavy heaviest heavy as fuck to carry around. But, uh, at the time it, I, I totally thought it was worth it. But, uh, and then in the second year it started to deteriorate a little bit in quality. And by the third year it definitely needed some work. So I did have it serviced then, but it never really sounded the same again after that, that first set of tubes, uh, was kind of hard to beat. Um, but it just, and then after that, I was just, I stopped using it because I, I, it would just kind of randomly, screw up on me. And I just got tired of not knowing whether or not <laughs> my amp was going to survive, uh, any one show. Yeah. And you experienced some similar problems with your, with your, uh, with your tube heads as well. It's just, uh, they're, they sound beautiful, but they're really, really yeah, heavy. Like it. And they're just, and how, they're temperamental. Now, and, yeah. And for the yeah. amount of time that we've been using the direct signals, these, uh, these, uh, guitar processors, the, uh, there's been no issue. There's just mm-hmm. been zero issue. There's been, you know, that you turn them on and you, and you go play yeah. and it's just, you know, it, and every sound guy that we've ever worked with that was worth his salt, their salt has freaked out at how easy yeah. it is for them to do their job. You know, you, you're just, you're taking away all the room sound. You're taking away all the, you know, you're just giving them exactly what you do and all that they have to do is match it with the band and they love mm-hmm. it. So, yeah. but anyway, you know, we're, we're, yeah. we're, we're going, we're going way too, too deep into, uh, thing for this but uh i just want to say too because i know that i know chad's got to get out and he's got to get to victoria's secrets before they uh before they pull the plug <laughs> yes. and uh uh yes um but uh yeah uh thank you all for for, for listening and and you know we're just uh we're we're, we're as excited I, I don't know if i've been at, <laughs> i think i'm more excited about this coming year than i have been about any year in in the in, in the past i just um uh, you yeah. know, thrilled, thrilled to get the album out. Um, uh, thrilled to get Blackmatic out on LP and in the record shops, and mm-hmm. to send them out to everybody. And you know, we just uh, uh, so we're gonna yeah. do it again. You know, we're gonna we're gonna do an, a, a new record this year, and and mm-hmm. you know, we're just uh, we're, we're gonna, but we're gonna take it on the road first. We're gonna let you let you hear it first before we. Uh, That's right. Surprise. Yeah, if, if you join us on Patreon too, you'll be able to watch it take shape over time. There's also yes. going to be uh, we, Patrick and I were talking about this. We haven't picked out the curated the material yet, but there's going to be sort of an archive, Blackguards archive series, throughout the year of old stuff that that either nobody's heard or maybe only a handful of people have ever heard for good going, reason. Yeah, going all the way back to the beginning of the band, maybe even before the beginning of the band, uh, depending on what we dig up. So we'll see. Yeah. Uh, also, LPs are still on sale from the website. If you want to go and get yep. those for limited, you know, as long as these last, you'll get one of these intact. Uh, it's part of people. It's been great watching people uh, post pictures of the LPs as, the, as they've been showing up pretty much. Almost everybody has theirs now. I think um, there's a few that are still in transit. I think even our, our friend, Mark Cavanaugh in Dublin received his by this point. Me. Uh, yes, yes, yes. He's in Westport. Yeah. He's not in Dublin. Oh, sorry. I, yeah, it was routed through Exile. Saw... The last tracking thing I saw was it was in Dublin. So I guess it ah. flew, in, flew into Dublin Airport before it went out to him. Um, good. good. Uh, what else was I going to say? The uh, yeah, and this, I mentioned earlier and last week too that we taped we we did a uh, video of the uh, Toy Drive show that is on Patreon. The entire show is on Patreon right now, and you can watch on our Facebook page. It's not, actually, it's on Instagram too. You can watch. I put up uh, the entire performance of uh, us playing. The boys are back in town by thin Lizzie up there. Um, and it's, uh, just a, just sound. This it's just it's what you're hearing is a sound in the room. It's not a board recording. It actually sounds pretty good. And you can hear Luba's Luba's handiwork there. He was doing on, on the sound front of house. Yeah. 
Yeah, and we have, uh, you know, we'll, we'll we'll still ship some work shirts if you want a work shirt. That looks like this on the back. Work shirts, yes. Uh, and uh, coffee and all that stuff. And uh, just uh, I, I can't wait to see everybody after the new year and uh, get your rest because it's going to be it's it's going to be flat out. That's right. Oh, and there's going to be that's what I was I forgot. Keep an eye on our social media and the website about right, right around the fifth of January. Yes. There's going to be a big announcement. Yes, those that's of you it. living, can we can yeah. we say anything about? It? Nope. No, nope, nope. that's okay. it. Just pay attention. attention. <laughs> Big enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to be there. All right. We want to be there. Anyway, Chad, go shopping. Okay. Everybody, thanks for listening. See you all soon. See you. All right. See you. Happy New Year.